Hi, this is Tisha Copeland at Not Your Mama's Quilt Store, and today I want to show you what cake mix recipes are. These are some fun paper patterns from Moda, and each one is different. This is number one. This is cake, recipe, cake mix recipe number two. This is number three and they were designed to work with layer cake so 10 inch by 10 inch pieces but it makes fun half square triangles perfect every time because what you do is you actually pin your fabric two pieces to this pattern right here and then you sew on these lines following the little arrows when you're done, you cut everywhere that there is a straight line and you will have perfect half square triangles. So let's go to the sewing machine to show you how to do this. Okay, we're back. So I'm gonna show you how to pin these and get them ready for the sewing machine. I'm using Cake Mix 3, shows right down here. The difference in all the packets is that depending on what the half square triangles make, they give you suggested patterns that you can use with that particular packet. So this is going to make, one cake mix has 44 recipe cards in it. If you were to use all of them, you would end up with 792 two inch by two inch half square triangles. This one is going to be using, um, this card is going to give you 18 two by two half square triangles. Each booklet gives you different ones, different sizes, so you might end up with two inch ones over here, and this might be a four inch one, and this one might be a three inch one. So each one is gonna be a little bit different, but cake mix recipe number three is going to give me um, two inch by two inch finished half square triangles. So this is how it starts off. You have, like I said, 44 pages in here. The paper is the same kind of paper you would use for um, English paper, not English, I'm sorry, foundation paper piecing is the same kind of paper. So you can sew through it. It's kind of like, do you remember that old fashioned Big Chief tablets you had in school? And it was that kind of um, raw paper feel to it and not really uh, crisp like the white copy your paper is that's what this is so it makes it easy to sew through what you do is you see where it says start one right here that's going to be where we first start sewing the first time so we're going to sew on the seam one go down loop around it tells you which way to go you're following the little arrows right here then the second one start two you come right over here you follow the little arrows like this come all the way around this one actually has you do it a couple of times so it says right there pivot now we're going to go on an inside one right here okay and we're going to stop right there and then when we're done you're going to cut where the solid lines are all along right here all the solid lines all the way around it tells you right here also that this is your stitching line this is your cutting line and the instructions I'm telling you each page gives you the same instructions so you don't have to try to remember from place to place or page to page I should say so you work with 10 inch squares that's the size it was designed for using layer cakes which are really handy or just 10 inch pieces of paper. You could work larger if you wanted to, but this is kind of designed for the half, I mean for the uh, layer cakes. So I have one 10 inch square here. This is the little bumblebee one from Art Gallery Fabrics. Love, love, love it. Here is a really fun little floral one from Art Gallery Fabrics also. I'm going to pin these, put them right sides together, okay? So you know how to do this so far because this is your standard way of sewing right sides together then I'm going to take this pattern and I'm going to lay it right on top and I'm just going to pin it in place so it doesn't move while I am stitching on it and you can pin right through that paper and now we're ready to take it to the sewing machine
So now this is just like foundation paper piecing. We're gonna go ahead and start cutting. And the first line that we're gonna cut is where we sewed. It's a solid line, it's a diagonal line, so I'm just gonna take my ruler right here and so and cut oops all the way across okay second one I'm gonna take this go ahead and um, You can see right here this is the first one I'm gonna go ahead and fold my paper back this paper will come off really easily because it's perforated with the needle and the thread so it'll come off very easily which makes it really nice to work with peel off all these little pieces right here and what you have is a perfect half square triangle it's two and a half inches right now but when you finish it it's going to be a two inch half square triangle so let me keep cutting all of these so that you can see the finished result so I've ironed all my little half square triangles open already ironed half of them to the light side and the other half to the dark side because I knew they'd have to interchange with each other and I cut off the little points that are at the end right here so that I can line stuff up. This is where you can come back to the um, cover of the cake mix recipe and get suggestions for layouts right here. Now you'll notice they have two different colors. They have actually three, a gray, black, and white. And that's so that if you want to alternate colors or change them up with some of the other half square triangles because don't forget you're going to be using um, layer cakes a lot of times so you don't normally have two of them matching this gives you suggestions on how you can lay them out to bring in different colors but you don't have to use that you may have your own favorite designs that you like you might want to do a pinwheel which is always fun to do if you just need a bunch of pinwheels right oops so you have a little pinwheel you may want to do the um, a chevron those are always easy to do and sometimes the hassle is just doing all the half square triangles right so this gives you kind of a cheating way to do it not really cheating we find tools to help us don't you find that all the tools having the right tools makes everything so much more fun when you're working isn't that true let's see I have to think about this for a second there we go so you can do a little chevron there's all kinds of things you can do with the half square triangles like I said, this is gonna finish off at two inches. When you're done, it's at two and a half right now, and it's gonna finish off at a two inch. So, these are the Miss Rosie's Quilt Company. They designed this for Moda. They're called Cake Mix Recipes. We have them in the store. They are $10.99 for a pad. A pad is going to have um, 44 sheets. This one has 44 sheets in it. Each sheet does, in this instance, each sheet is gonna do um, 18 half square triangles, and you can mix and match them any way you like. We've got them in the store now, so I hope you'll stop by and visit us. Thank you.